of Education. It was a rare joint meeting of the Patterson and Newark Advisory School Boards, a public session ostensibly called to update the two communities on the status of state control, but actually part of an effort to rally support to kick the state out. It is proven to be inefficient. It is proven to be ineffective. New Jersey's three largest school systems have been under state control for decades. Patterson was taken over in 1989. Jersey City in 91, and Newark in 95. For educational leaders who note that the systems have continued an overall decline under state control, the sense is that the state is less interested in improving education and more interested in controlling the combined $2 billion represented by the system's budgets. Newark's share of that is $800 million. Uh, it's an easy way to get $800 million, uh, almost a billion dollars of, of worth of resources in this school system to, to divvy up and, and, and give it up to, to whomever you want to give it to. And now this is an opportunity for them to come in and break the school system down. Commissioner Chris Cerf, who was not invited to this meeting, has become something of a lightning rod to those looking for a return of local control. Now you're going to let me finish and I'm going to let you talk, all right? He's gotten rough treatment at several public hearings, but so far has shown no inclination to let the local systems run themselves. His office did not return phone calls for comment today. The state is facing off against the Newark system in court. The schools there charge that the state has moved the goal line on its evaluation system, called QSAC, or the Quality Single Accountability Continuum. The Education Law Center in Newark, of which David Ciara is the executive director, argues that Newark schools have met the QSAC criteria to return to local control. The case is now moving forward and hopefully we'll have a deci decision from, from the appellate court on whether or not the commissioner's decision not to leave Newark uh, complied with state law. The takeover is no longer about takeover, it's, it's about occupation. And so our schools are really being occupied by folk who want to promulgate privatization. Pending a legal decision to the contrary, the school systems in all three cities will have to continue to take orders from the state. But board members say that they're going to keep the political pressure on, hoping that in an election year, a new governor might be more receptive to their demands. For NJ Today, I'm David Cruz.